Hello guys, uh, this is Wilderness 101 Expert. Hi. Um, okay, I have to redo this video because I made it too long. So I can't send it all to YouTube, so I'm going to have to hurry it up. Okay, this is my Molly butt pack pouch. Uh, I just recently got it. I haven't really tested it out, so I don't have much to say about it, how good it is or how bad. Uh, so far, I've only had a few things wrong with it. Um, they, all, everything is shot with, uh, belt buckles, which I don't mind on some of them, but on, like, the side, that should be Velcro, I think. And, uh, the lid for this, it's hard to open, and it's, I don't know, just kind of tough. But, anyways, uh, right here I got paracord, um, uh, my slingshot to hunt with in this survival situation. A KIR water bottle, which is not military. It's a group for kids. I just stuck that in there because I had no other water bottle. It's small enough. Um, right here I have a compass. And um, I have a uh, small repair kit in here that I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, just real quick, I'm going to go over all the pouches real quick um there are one two three four in the main compartment five i'll have to recount sorry i lost count i'm really bad at that one two three four five six pouches hear that six so there's a lot of room for all your gear um so for the repair kit I don't have needles, which I'll have to put in a little bit. Uh, I got this. Um, it's an old handkerchief that I can rip up for uh, material to sew. And it's really nice because it's got a rubber band on it. And I just figured this out a while back because I stuck my finger in here because I was bored. Uh, but what you can do is probably put another rubber band right about here and put uh little, tiny pieces of wood in between the rubber band and handkerchief and if i break my finger i got a finger splint it's nice and comfy because it's got the handkerchief but it's strong and firm and i've smashed a couple of my fingers hurts really bad and those weren't even that didn't actually smash my bone so they still hurt really bad no matter what. Uh, okay, next in my repair kit, I have fishing pliers, which, yes, I could have multi tool, but every multi tool I've had sucks. Not saying that they all suck, but, um, yeah. But I'm not planning on getting one, because I've got a saw, I've got a knife, I've got pliers, and, you know, they're just so small and everything, I don't want them. But what's really nice about these is that they're spring-loaded, so I don't have to mess around with it manually. I can just open it up and grab whatever I need. It's got cutters, so I can cut the fishing line real easy. Needle-nose pliers to pull, um, rip. I don't know. I don't care what you're going to do with them. Just use them. Next, I've got fishing line around ca cardboard. This is 10-pound. Um, you can sew possibly this material will take a while because it's thick and durable. Um, I don't have thread. Or I don't have thread in the kit because I don't uh, want that weak of uh, cord. I want 10 pound at least. I'm not sure how much how much poundage regular thread can take. These. Um, here real quick, I'm gonna go get an arrow, and I'll show you guys. Um, have you seen any of Dave Canterbury's, uh, Singbo, uh, videos? They're really nice, I suggest you look them up. Uh, he takes the, this, the knockoff, and puts a, uh, tennis tee in. And uses that 
for a better grip on this uh, sling shot. But I figured out that I can do this. Wait, I'll have to put it down real quick. I'll try and get it so you guys can see it. But I can put this on, turn a little bit. Now I got a grip for it. But if I ever make a bow, take it right off, and I can knock it and go, whoo, and it'll fly. And who knows, the bow I make may be stronger than my slingshot, which I kind of doubt because every tree, every piece of brush that I've tried using for a uh, bow doesn't really work. Probably because I always use maple because that's really all we have. But yeah, they're pretty nice. These are pretty nice. I hope that uh, Dave watches this video so he can put that on his own videos and possibly uh, suggest me to his viewers. Okay, I have about four minutes left. I'll have to hurry it up. Uh, I've got zip ties, uh, car duct tape around cardboard, rubber bands, and a sharpener, which is really nice whenever I make any kind of blade. I make sure that it's at the angle so I can use this on it. They're really nice, small, compatible. I like it. Got a rubber grip and everything. I'll hurry it up and put this stuff away. I've also got a file to put in this kit, but I'm going to wrap the end in duct tape so it don't poke a hole. Here, I'll just leave that. Um, I got a kind of cook kit. It's just a tin can, and this these are really nice utensils. They latch together. There's a large spoon, a fork, and a knife, which you can use a spoon to dig. Uh, the fork, I don't know, for a frog gig, and this for a saw. Uh, I have this for uh, they're wild edible cards really nice they're small and compatible and they give me a lot even ones I don't need but if I I just keep it together in case I go somewhere else uh, I need them um they're really nice this is I think miners lettuce I don't know I'll have to hurry it up I got a tin can and a waterproof match holder in it tin can I modified it so that I can Pull down the tab and take my pliers, match them on to whatever I need. Here's my first aid kit, which has a lot of stuff in it, so I'm not going to show you anytime soon. Well, not anytime soon, but I'm going to put it in a video. And I'm down to like two minutes left. I got a hanky, handkerchief. I can use that for first aid, or I can wrap it around my ankles and go through dewy grass in the morning and collect water and then pour it in my pot here's my fire kit I'll go over that in another video um I think that's all I got guys oh another feature with this is I can um uh, here I'll show you in a little bit hello again guys um I can basically just leave this open kind of and put something big in here and uh, latch it with the buckle if I can get it open so yeah there we go that's basically it for the Molly butt pack. Uh, just type in Molly vest on uh, Google Shopping or whatever. It's spelled M O L L E, uh, not M O L L Y or anything like that. Um, I have 20 seconds left, so I'll have to hurry it up and end the video. That's basically all I got. Um, I'll do more vids probably tonight. Uh, later, guys.